person says, I'm most shocked that Mike Kyoto got released. What about you? Listen, I was trying to explain this last night on the Observer Radio Show, and some people were still confused. So I want to just make this as simple as possible, okay? I have, in addition to all of this, a jiu-jitsu school. And we have not run a class in over a month now. So there is no money coming in. We can't run the school. I don't even know, honestly, when we will be able to do jiu-jitsu again. Because when everything else is opening up, I'm really going to have people go in there and lay on each other and do jiu-jitsu. Until there's a vaccination, I'm not sure when we're going to open up again, okay? If you run a restaurant and the best you can do is takeout and Uber Eats, and with Uber Eats, I mean, you're barely making anything anyway. I mean, you're hurting. If you have a store in the mall, I have a buddy that owns a place down in Bothell, Room to Craft. They're paying rent, but nobody can go in there. They're hurting, okay? People are hurting all over. And I understand that if you're hurting and the issue is that you might go out of business, then yes, you need to lay people off. But with WWE, unlike the jiu-jitsu school or the restaurant or room to craft or the store in the mall or any of all sorts of businesses that are hurting, they're still running live every week. What they're losing out on is yes, they lost out on a lot of money, a one-time hit for WrestleMania. But the one-time hit for WrestleMania, I'm not going to say it's a drop in the bucket, but it is not, nothing in any universe are they close to going out of business because they did not run WrestleMania. They're not selling tickets for Raw and SmackDown. But as Dave noted last night, when they were selling tickets to live Raw and SmackDown, A lot of those were money-losing shows. Those house shows were money-losing shows. By not running the shows, they're actually doing better than they were when they ran the shows. So when you look at WWE, they're still getting all of their television money. The WWE Network is running as it is always run. Like, if you decide to cancel for whatever reason, that's not on... It's not like it's WWE couldn't provide the service. They can still provide the service. They can still provide all all of their services that they could provide before COVID-19 struck. So the point is, they don't need to release anybody at the worst time possible. And furthermore, yes, there are wrestlers here that in years past, after WrestleMania, they would have been cut. They're not doing anything with No Way Jose. It sucks that No Way Jose was cut, but if it were any other year, it's possible that No Way Jose would have been cut. But there are other wrestlers there that worked on WrestleMania. AJ Styles' four-man group is no longer a four-man group. It's now a two-man group because you cut Gallows and Anderson. Did you need to cut Gallows and Anderson? No, you didn't need to. You didn't need to cut anybody. And furthermore, forget the people that were cut that were never going to be used that probably would have been cut anyway. Okay, what about all of the agents that were furloughed? Allegedly, all of the agents were furloughed. Now, honest to God, I think some of these agents aren't going to be brought back. They were actually fired. But the story out of WWE was that these people were furloughed. We're going to we're going to send you home. We're not going to pay you. And maybe in, I don't know, September, January, March. At some point, we're going to bring you back and pay you. So if the plan is to send them home and bring them back, you couldn't renegotiate the deal where you say, hey, times are tough right now. We're going to send you home and you're not working. So we're not going to pay you your your full salary. But you know what? We're going to pay you half of your salary. Because in every single WWE video and live stream and tweet, I have to hear about the WWE family, the WWE family, the WWE family. Let me tell you something. If my family, if my mother and father are living here in this house and things get bad, I'm not going to throw my family out so that I can rent out that room to somebody else because it's my family. All I hear about is family, 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 the WWE family, support the family. And then you got rid of of a whole bunch of people that, trust me, they don't need to get rid of, especially when their own 
press release says that the vast majority of the savings are going to come from them stopping construction on their own new headquarters. So I don't want to hear that people are getting cut all over the place. And of course, WWE is cutting. Most of those places, they have to, or there isn't going to be a business. WWE, they don't have to. And it looks so bad to the outside world. Whatever the reasons were for their cuts, it looks so bad to the outside world that Vince McMahon lost money on this XFL, and then he cut everybody. And Vince McMahon has an earnings call in a week, and he cut everybody. I mean, could this look worse, whether that's the reason or not? So anyway, yeah, I'm really upset that they cut everybody, and I have to hear from people saying, oh, Brian, it's no big deal. It happens everywhere. I know that, but it doesn't have to happen everywhere, especially to people you call your family. I'm done.